So one thing about having a Jeep is making it your own. And this one, I've made it my own in almost every step of the way. And there are a lot more steps to go. Now, I'm not gonna lie, because I live at home, um, there's a lot of mail that comes in and I have to make sure that it's mine. And <laughs> I already sort of got a head start, but it's what's in here what makes the difference for me. All the difference, actually. And introduce my new parking lights. Not the most graceful way of unpacking. And my side markers. The LEDs for this are the biggest game changer for me. You can find the clear lenses. I don't know what it was. Finding LED ones was so hard and uh, ended up finding a really good deal and price on them. They're on sale. And I got lucky finding them. I just kept searching the internet and thankfully Pro Tuning Lab had these. I'm gonna install them. I can't wait to, uh, can't wait to see what it's gonna look like. It's a straight plug in play, so there's no wire cuttering, cutting involved. And I'm gonna also drop the link because these look great and I can't wait to see what they look like on the car. And as typical Jeep fashion, the screws are outside to here to here. There should just be a fastening bolt and a 10 millimeter, eight millimeter um, nut in the back. Mine fell off, but I have these new, um, these new uh, nuts in place. So I'm gonna put those in so everything's fastened and secured. So, so like I said, this is an actual plug and play. Here's what you do. This end actually goes in where the bulb is. That's all you have to do. I actually disassembled the other one. As you saw how it works, you don't plug it in through here. It is through the light socket itself on both ends as well. So without further ado, let's see how this thing looks just fully done up on both ends. Oh, and there it is. This is what the LEDs look like. White lens, LED, not the smoked, but this, this right here, I, I love this look and I hopefully can do it to the rear. It just looks so much cleaner, you know, blue, silver, white, and black just all works so well. Intense blue pearl. And I'm in love with the car again. And that's what I love. You can make this car whatever you want. And yeah, it's about 106 degrees now, but this is what I love. This blue, the black, the white, charcoal gray, this just all goes together so well. I love this look. And with the clear lenses, it worked. But now I have LEDs up front and soon to be in the rear. Again, same same kind of uh, format, clear lenses. I don't know. Let me know if you guys like the clear lenses. What's your opinion on it? I know it's more of like a Euro style. I actually got the inspiration from Porsche. Love when they do that. But this is just a little something. So it's obviously too bright out. It's about 12 p.m. right now. Um, at night, I'm going to turn these on, run it like that, and see what the difference is. Um, I know it said amber lighting, but let's see. Be right back. So, gotta keep it fair, keep it open. The good, the ugly, the bad. Um, I had to take these off because I think I blew a fuse. I had them all connected, all four sides, and these weren't turning on. And these were turning on. My lights were on, but so were my arrows, both of them. And now, and now I'm in the process of actually changing up fuses, uh, just to see if it actually is the problem. Blowing the fuse is no fun. Of course, you don't want to overheat or blow anything else, so you gotta be careful with it. These, thankfully, only require 10 amps, so let's get to it. And if you don't know what to go based off of, thankfully, Chief thought ahead, and there's this whole diagram right here. You just follow that diagram, and you'll be good to go. So we're actually back in action the next day. Um, it was just so late at night and I took apart the interior because I found the actual issue. It wasn't just the fuses, it's a little bit more than that, especially when you're dealing with LEDs. When you're doing these headlights, LEDs, I mean, those of you will know, what happens isn't the fuse, it's the relay. So when I'm doing a full conversion front, side markers and everything, the relay, has to be switched and because it's Jeep it's very specific there are two different types of relays but depending on the year that you have 97 to 2000 and 2001 to 2006 which I'm about to show you so everything was taken apart just to get to the relay that lives right here actually I already took it out this is what it looks like this is what gave out I had replaced it two years ago to kind of sort of work with the LED headlights 
but I'm gonna say this again what relay you get is specific to the year Jeep that you have 97 to 2000 is an EP 26 that is proper and for 2001 to 2006 it is the LM 470 so this is what's gonna help regulate the new LED lights and should fix what I thought was the blown fuse let's give it a shot well this went horribly wrong um, so while changing the relay putting in at least uh, the driver side LEDs and testing it out the wire started smoking and uh, the black wire had popped off um, yeah they didn't work uh, really upsetting I love the look of these but unfortunately if it's not gonna work with the car I have to find another solution it the turn signals worked the lights did not turn on my instrument cluster did not turn on checking the fuses checking everything when I put a new 20 in where it's supposed to go I heard up I had a pop I heard a pop and check the fuse popped burned no good um, so unfortunately as much as I love the way these look thankfully there's a warranty on it I can't keep them right now uh, if I get a new pair maybe it'll be different but that'll be a week from now and so this is the culprit and that happened it started smoking it popped off and yeah so you know I really like the way these look but if it's not gonna work then I can't I can't do it I can't justify it um, and they're sequential too these are really cool I just hopefully let's see how the warranty thing works with this but um yeah that's just that's unfortunate uh, one thing I will say now that the old lights are put back on the instrument cluster lights work all the lights work and so that just further proves it to me that it was just drawing too much electricity and it's I don't know if it's actually gonna work they can give me replacements but if it happens again then the LEDs just aren't it and I have to get LED bulbs instead of the entire unit like that um, I mean, as long as I have clear lenses, I think I can live. I don't know. Um, but, you know, it's just, it's always something with these cars. It's always something. Uh, that's how you learn. And also the forums. So I'm telling you from what they uh, have put out there for everyone for free. And just translating it from words to video. Um, I think I'm going to end it here. I'm going to put everything back together. And once I get a response back from Pro Tuning Lab, I'll let you guys know. Until next time, take care. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. We'll see what happens in the next video.